Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use the application rights on Windows to control individual uh, Windows services using the sc.exe executable. Um, like I showed you before, I created a user called Mark, and Mark uh, pretty much has no groups that he belongs to. He's just a regular guy. Uh, he doesn't even, even have a Unix profile like I showed you before. So um, the first thing we need to know is what is the requirement. So uh, I'm gonna make it simple. I'm gonna I'm gonna have the requirement be uh, to stop and start the SQL Server service, like a, you know, like a developer would do it. And uh, let's go ahead and first we have to create our application, and it's very simple. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new application, and I'm gonna call it Service Control SQL with SC, right? And uh, all we need to do is do a match criteria, press add, and we can import a file and go directly where the application is. I have, this application happens to be in system 32, so let's do uh, SC, here it is. And this is gonna pre-populate everything for me right here. So I'm gonna put uh, uh, SC for SQL. And, uh, and this will be start. We go ahead and copy that and let's want to do some arguments sc basically requires the operation in this case start and then the service name ms mss sql server there you go so we have the first one which is the um the start so we're going to go ahead and add another one and this one is going to be the stop. So I'm going to do the same thing. Import SC. Double click it and rename it. And the arguments is stop. There you go. This is important. So the, the arguments work correctly. Uh, let's just make it con uh, consistent here. There you go. So now we have the name, the, the application rights, uh, now the principle that we're going to use. And I know that the built-in administrator should be more than enough for this. And voila, we have our application right, right here. So the best thing we need to do is just add, add it to a role. So let's go ahead and add it to a role. My role is going to be uh, Siemens test. And um, notice that the role can be at a certain time. Um, you can set up the rights. Unix doesn't apply here, so I'm going to do console and remote login for this. And that audit is enabled, right? Um, key thing here, a lot of people create roles and they forget to add the rights. So the only thing I'm going to do is add this right. And we have it right here. Uh, so we service, service control, SQL with this SC. Right? So now the user has the rights, I mean, the, the, the role has the rights. And remember, these roles can be reused. So now, where do we do the assignment? I have a member machine right here, um, member two. This machine is joined to the zone. If you notice, if I look at the zone and find my machine, you'll be able to see it right there. There's uh, where member is, right? Um, you know, pretty cool. And then, uh, I've actually grouped this computer and I put it in, um, in uh, let's see, I put it in in uh, the PCI server's computer role. So notice that we have three areas where we can assign uh, rights. We can do it at the, you know, we could do it at the zone level, right under authorization, or we could do it on the, the computer role level. And if we need a, a break fix, we could do it at the computer level as well. So. If I wanted to just do it in member two, I could just do it here. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it at the computer level. And I'm going to assign the role, and is that Siemens test? I'm going to add it to um, uh, add to Mark. Typically, you do this to groups, so you can just uh, add people from groups and and so on. And uh, this is a permanent assignment, as you can see. I can have this be, you know, for a couple of hours if needed, but um, a permanent should be enough. So now I've my role, uh, just to review, grants the ability to log in locally to the machine. It's audited and only has that particular command. So let's take it for a ride. I'm going to go ahead and switch to that member member two machine, and 
and uh, let's go ahead and try and log in as Marques. Do a switch user here. 